finally got the nursery empty uh, of all the plants and uh, all the mesh that I had in there just temporarily and uh, I've got the dingo coming this morning to um, spread the last load of gravel in the nursery uh, so yeah this is the sort of construction of the nursery it was uh, the gal poles all coupled together with uh, little cl uh, pipe clamps and then the base is uh, sort of like a granite road base type material uh, but it's a bit sharp on the feet so what they're doing this morning is going to be putting in the uh, 7 to 10 mil ballast um, or screenings actually um, and that's a nice uniform black colour um, and that'll be right through the nursery as well as through this path um, that's the material there and uh, that's yeah, going to be the base so the, the black and the green should look quite good uh, with the nursery and the, the black floor and the green roof so a little bit messy around it at the moment because I've been uh, busy uh, but this is a setup pretty impressed with it and it's all automated irrigation which I'll talk to you about in uh, some upcoming informative uh, video clips and things like that stay tuned those of you interested in how I've done the corners and how I've tied the roof down last thing I've got to do is put in a bit of diagonal bracing um, but that'll happen once I've got it all finished and I can work out where I want to put it there it comes Aaron in on the jingo bringing it in Looking great already. There it is, finished product. All the gravel's been spread. A couple of little pathways into my timers that run the nursery. One there, one there, and the other timers are running the irrigation through the orchard. So there you go, that's the finished product. Gravel spread. Benches have got to go in now and uh, then it'll be moving all my plants over from the other nursery and hey presto I have a uh, 30 by 3 meter 80 percent shade greenhouse ready for some fairly large-scale commercial production of arrowheads and other decorative indoor plants awesome